Back to that breaking news now, coming out of Washington and specifically from the White House. NBC's Ken Delaney is joining us now. And Ken, we're looking ahead to President Biden speaking from the Blue Room balcony, I believe, from the White House tonight. We now have more details that you and our team are reporting on the target, who this strike was against. Fill us in. That's right, Hallie. NBC News has confirmed, Kristen Welker and I, with two sources familiar with the matter, that uh, the United States conducted an operation that killed al-Qaeda leader Ayman al-Zawahiri, uh, the 71-year-old um, mastermind of 9-11, who, whose uh, whereabouts have been a mystery for many, many years. There was a $25 million reward on his head. He last uh, uh, published a video in 2019, and yet this has still been behind the scenes, as, as, was, as was the case with Osama bin Laden, a goal of the U.S. intelligence community and a group of people were devoted to finding Ayman al-Zawahiri. We, we're, we've yet to learn the details of exactly what type of operation um, was carried out, how uh, he was found. Those, those things are all going to be very interesting to learn. But a major, major development, the leader of al-Qaeda, uh, yeah. who helped plan the 9-11 attacks, now dead, we are being told. Talk through the significance of this more, Ken, and how it relates to something we talked about earlier in the show, which is um, this, this strike happening in Afghanistan at just about the year mark of when the United States, led by President Biden, obviously withdrew from that war there. Yeah, that's right. And I should add that the Taliban publicly confirmed that there had been a what they call the U.S. drone strike carried out on Sunday in Afghanistan. So that gives mm -hmm. us some indication of what may have happened. But um, look, it's hugely significant. A another question, though, Hallie, is to what extent, if at all, was the Taliban harboring Zawahiri? Did they have knowledge of his whereabouts? Yeah. That's going to be a an important factor in terms of how the U.S. Um, is dealing with the Taliban. Um, you know, that was the reason the United States invaded Afghanistan, because the Taliban was harboring uh, al Qaeda. You know, another interesting thing here, though, is, you know, look, the threat from al Qaeda has clearly um, waned. It's, it's clearly uh, less than it was at one point. And in fact, U.S. intelligence officials have said pretty bluntly in congressional hearings that al Qaeda and ISIS, for that matter, no longer have the capacity to strike the United States. And it's a kind of complex operation uh, that was 9 11 or even anything close to that. But nonetheless, it's a, it's a, it's a virulent jihadi. Uh, um, ideology that persists in Afghanistan and other places. And Zawahiri was an important inspirational leader. And uh, the fact that he's been killed by the United States shows that the United States and the CIA do not forget. And they will pursue uh, enemies of the United States to the ends of the earth and for as long as it takes. Yeah. And much with the operation that uh, killed Osama bin Laden, you know, President Biden is going to have um, this will be a feather in the cap of the president who ordered this operation. Ken Delaney and great reporting. Thank you. We'll look for more from you and our team tonight uh, when President Biden speaks. Appreciate it. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.